Hello and welcome everyone to this new series on Python. In this series of videos, we will see how to deal with text data in Python. If you are new to the channel and still not subscribed to this channel, then do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. Now let's dive into Jupyter Notebook and see how to clean text data in Python. In today's session, we will see how to remove stop words from the reviews. Stop words are commonly used words like should, would, have and so on. If we are doing analysis on text data, these stop words won't help us to draw any useful insights. So we usually remove these stop words from the data. Just like we have a predefined list of punctuations in Python, we have a library that can be used to get a list of stop words. So first, let's see the top 10 rows of the dataset that we have been using. Press Shift Enter. So these are the top 10 rows of the reviews data that we have been using. So to remove stop words, we will first import the NLTK library that stands for Natural Language Toolkit. NLTK is a very useful library when you are dealing with uh, text data. Next, we will import the stop words from the nltk.corpus. To download the list of stop words, you will have to write nltk.download stop words. Then further, we will have to import these packages also to remove the stop words. If gensim package is not present in your system, then you can run this pip install gensim. So let me run this cell to import all the libraries. Press shift enter. So these gensim and stop words are already present in my system. So that's why I am getting this message that the requirement already satisfied. If these packages are not present in your system, then it might take few seconds to download. Next. Stop words have a method words that contains the list of stop words from different languages. Let me run this cell. So here you can see that you will find stop words from different languages. To get the stop words for the English language, just write down English within parentheses. So I am assigning these stop words to a new variable stop words underscore list so let me run this cell press shift enter now we are getting the list of english stop words so these words like i me myself won't be useful to draw any useful insights when dealing with text data next We can even add more words to this list by using extend method. Extend is basically used to add more elements to a list. Make sure that the column that you are working on is in lowercase because Python is a case sensitive language and all the stop words that you can see above are in lowercase. I have already explained how to convert text data in lower or uppercase. So I have added the link of that video in the description below and you will also find the link of that video on the top right corner. So here I have given three words keyboard, case and model in the stop words underscore list. You can add any words to this list that you want to remove from the column. Uh, let me run this cell. Press shift enter. Let's see if these words are added to our list. So write down stop word underscore list and press shift enter. So you will see that the three words are added at the end of the list, keyboard, case and model. So in this way, you can add any word to this stop words underscore list. Now we will write a code to see how to remove stop words from the text column. So let's see an example first. Here I have created a variable a that contains text. He does not know how to swim. 
let me run this cell our intent will be first to split this entire string into words and then check if words are present in the stop words list so to split this string into words we will make use of gensim package so simple pre processes package from the gensim.utils will split this string into words just run this cell press shift enter here you can see that the string is split into different words next we will make use of for loop to iterate through this list and compare the words with the stop words list so first we are splitting the string into words and then we are iterating through the list using for loop so if the word is not present in the stop words list then we are appending the word in a separate list that we have defined here word underscore list so this is a empty list that will contain all the words that are not falling in the stop words underscore list let's run this code cell press shift enter so you will observe that he does not then how to have been removed from the string and we are left with only no and swim so in this way we can remove the stop words from the list but the reviews are in a sentence form so we need to join these words back into a sentence form so for that we can make use of dot join method uh, add a cell just below this cell press b from the keyboard now first let's see what is the output inside word underscore list press shift enter so these two words are there and now we have to join these words back into a sentence so for that we will make use of join method add a new cell just below this cell press b on the keyboard and here you can write down list underscore one equal to we want to separate these words with a space so within quotes give a space and after that write down dot join within parenthesis give the input word underscore list in the next line let's write down list underscore one press shift enter so now you will observe that we were able to join these words back into a sentence form so within quotes we can give how we want to join the words in our case we want the words to be separated by a space so in the next step i have created a udf using the above code so you will observe that this code is similar to the one we have written here just that i have added the join code also in this udf let's run this udf press shift enter so we will be applying the udf that i have defined here stop word underscore clean to our reviews text column so here i have created a new column stop word underscore clean that will contain the text without any stop words now let's apply this udf to the reviews clean text column that we have created in our last video where i have removed all the punctuations let me show you so this is the column that i am talking about this column we had created in the last video where i have explained how we can remove these punctuations from the column so let me copy this column name go back to the code cell so here just paste the new column name so i will apply this stop word underscore clean udf to the reviews underscore clean underscore text column let me run this cell press shift enter 
and to get the top 10 rows let's write down here data dot head press shift enter now here you can see that these stop words have been removed from the stop word underscore clean column so into the have been removed then with a so all the stop words have been removed from this stop word underscore clean column so in this way we can remove the stop words from the text column and then further use this new column for our analysis to draw useful insights in the next session we will make use of this stop word underscore clean column and see how to create a word cloud in python so this was all that i had to cover in this session i encourage everyone to jump to jupyter notebook and practice whatever we have discussed in today's session i have added the kaggle link of this jupyter notebook in the description below thanks for watching this video i hope this session was helpful see you in the next tutorial